episodes on the channel. Before we get the episode, I want to shout out Podolski. Got himself a hat trick and didn't make it into the team of the week. I think it was too close to the team of the week. That's why he's not in it. Wearing the red Poldy shirt in honor of Poldy and Turkey. In this episode, boys, we're going to be looking at the most expensive bronze player in FIFA this year, and it is none other than the Turkish wunderkin for Dortmund, Emmer Moore. Got him for $100. 2,000 coins. Card looks incredible. Everyone on Twitter since the beginning of FIFA 17, even his regular card, people are saying, well, you have to do a video on the Turkish wunderkid Emmer Moore. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. Four-star skill moves. We have thrown the Hawkeye chemistry style on him, which brings him up to 88 acceleration, 96 pace, and 75 shooting. On this card right here, we don't even need to boost anything. He already has 98 agility and 97 balance. That is scary. That actually wasn't meant to be a joke. Can we also take a moment to reflect on the fact that he's 19? Oh, are there any other young players in the Dortmund squad? Yeah, I think so. I am the one, the way your son don't need the gun to get respect up on the street. We've got the American Christian Pulisic, 18 years old, getting starting time. All these guys are getting starting time, which is insane. Evermore, 19, Usman Dembele, 19, Guerrero. I believe he's 23. And Eric Bartra, I thought he was a little younger. He's actually 25, came over from Barcelona. But the Dortmund squad is so young, and they're actually playing well. Guerrero, I believe, has two goals. Uh, Pulisic has two goals. Emmermore, I believe, has one. Dembele has one and an assist. And then Bartra, I actually believe, has a goal as well. But this is the squad, boys. Had to include some Turkish flavor in it. We've got the Turkish De Bruyne in Ozilku, four-star, four-star. Has incredible, incredible stats. Then we've got Gunil, and then we've got Toprak. Uh, in order to complete the Bundesliga link, and then we've got uh, we've got Sebastian Rode, who is a beast in his own right. Was gonna go with either Vigel or Rode, and decided to go with Rode. Also, I've been up for the past 24 hours straight, cause I'm going to San Francisco this weekend with a girlfriend uh, for a vacation. We're leaving Thursday night, taking the red eye, and then coming back Monday. So I am just editing like crazy. So if you see a wild way in San Francisco, come up and say hi. If you guys do enjoy the episode, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below as well. If you want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter, those links can be found in the description below. Usman Dembele. I mean, these guys are just so talented. It's not even funny. Five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. Perfectly fits in there. Uh, didn't want to splash on the inform card. Want to see what his regular card does as well. And then, of course, I would be remiss to mention the fact that we have ourselves uh, Scary Charlie in there as well. So we've got the two Turkish screamers. So really, really emotional episode. We're going to get into a couple matches. Jurgen Klopp couldn't have had any other manager going back to Dortmund. Let's see if we can tear shit up. Why is this guy's squad name Adam Johnson? He's got Martial, he's got Batshuayi, he's got Mane, who has himself an inform this week, which is absolutely beastly. He's got his own Ember as well. Holy freaking smokes, boys. Come on. Let's see if Ember Moore lives up to the hype. In game, he looks nothing like that. Did they come on him? Remember last year when Coman had that like horrible player face? He just had the generic one. I feel like that's what they did do uh, to Emmermore this year. At halftime, not a whole lot going on outside of Emmermore's brilliant, brilliant run. Haven't made a run like that this year with a lot of players in FIFA. And to be able to pull it off with a 64 rated bronze player is pretty special. Was that a voice crack? <laughs> Honestly, this guy's unlucky not to have scored already. 76 minute. Now, if you're not familiar with Evermore's story, he actually was raised, he's Turkish, but he was raised in Denmark. Played for the U19s, I believe he played for the U17s, U18s, and U19s uh, for Denmark. And then his father signed him over to get his uh, Turkish papers and plays for the Turkish national team now and obviously plays for Dortmund, but did play for a Dutch side. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I think it's like a deer. Yeah, there it is. This guy deserves to be 1-1. One, one. To be honest with you, this guy might deserve to be up. Boys, where the hell? Dude, Dembele. Flashes of brilliance, ever more flashes of brilliance, but neither of them have stepped up to get the game winner. To seal the freaking victory. Come on. No. I don't know how he actually missed that. Not sure how he actually missed that one. Oh, Debele! 
Is this one really going to Pens? McPato's up first. He's going right. Let's go! Come on, boys! End of Yes! Right through the keeper! Come on, boys! Dude, I'm actually performing. Yes! Let's go, Berkey! Eugene! Right up the middle. Hit it right up the middle, bro! Come on! We ripped it! We saved it here! It's game over! Come on! We're actually playing pretty well for Pen. Go for Mills. Go right! Be in the crossbar we win! Come on, boys! Evermore's first game for me, and it's a victory! Okay, so my takeaway... Obviously, none of the guys really stepped up big time. Uh, Bartra, uh, Ozukub got the assist, Evermore got the goal. Um, Dembele was solid, flash, flash signs of brilliance, Evermore, the agility and acceleration and balance, you can't ignore that. NSUNL obviously brought him in towards the end, Pulisic didn't do much of all, uh, didn't do much of anything. The most impressive player, if I'm being honest with you, was Sebastian Hugo, absolute beast. Let's get into match number two, let's get ourselves a decisive victory. Match number two, he's got Zaza, he's got West Ham Faguli. At this point, I don't think you have to say West Ham Faguli anymore, he's not La Liga, it's Faguli now. Evermore, I'm expecting big things. Don't stop the rhythm. Does Pulisic want to come to the party? He just doesn't have it. Pulisic's physical stats are just kind of shit. As soon as he touched the ball, you felt it. Wait. Pulisic, you can't just steal the ball like that from Moore. And he puts it away. 1 0, 35th minute. Come on! Pull the pitch! Well, come on, boys! Can we get the Wonderkind hat trick? Now all we need is that melee. Halftime, boys. This guy's playing crazy, crazy possession. Uh, trying to keep the possession on my side of the pitch. And then when he hands it over, I just have lanes on lanes. So I am uh, I'm working that counter game quite strongly. Having a lot of success with it. 2 0. Goals from two players that are not even combined, age 40. Like, that's pretty cray. What the shit was that? Zaza, the running man, slots it away. Come on. Oh, damn it. He's doing exactly to me. What I did to him in the entire first half. Berkey with maybe the save of the game right there. Berkey, player of the game. Four, three, two, one. Screamer Charlie! With the rip in the 102nd minute! Right after a bit of skill from Evermore. And he says, you know what? I win in the game versus way! Never mind. Talk about shutting someone up really quickly.
sliding back. Go right again. That was a good pattern. That was a great pattern. Wow. Could you imagine being shit in pants? Could you imagine being so shit we, in pants? We missed this, we lose! And not being able to do anything this. if a game shit. ever goes to pants. Shit! Do you want back? Is this your way back? Way back, 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 report today! That's how we're doing. That's how we're doing this thing. Okay. That's how we're doing it. Halftime. Really not feeling great at all. Come on! Never more. Let's go, boys. Sometimes it's not about how big you are. It's not about how long. Uh, it's not about how much diarrhea you have in your elbow. It's what matters is that when you do score. FIFA 17, you do get the diarrhea under your elbow. Come on! Oh, Zyuku! He's eating the freaking. He's doing the Ozo celebration! He's doing the Ozo celebration! What a time to score! Tarki! Shortest, weakest man on your team. Dude! Wait, what? Charlie's not the shortest, weakest player on my team. Dude, I want to try and get on the mic. I can't do it. I can't do it, because the moment I get on the mic, I'm going to get distracted. Honestly, not sure I deserve to win that one, but I will take it. Came up against the God Squad. 9.5 for Ozio Coop. Every Turk on the team, with the exception of Tobruk and Golul, those guys aren't meant to score. Freaking score! But anyway, boys, that is the Evermore, the most expensive bronze player and the Dortmund Wonder Kids episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. P.O. Box address will also be in the description below if you guys want to send something. Um, you don't have to send anything, but it's just there if you guys want to. I will be, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm currently in San Francisco if you're watching this video. Um, there with my girlfriend hanging out, hopefully doing some cool stuff, but, uh, yeah, maybe we'll go to Alcatraz. Maybe as you're watching this, I'm in Alcatraz doing some crazy shit. But anyway, boys, I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, choose later, a day.